Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. In today's tutorial, which is a 2.5 remake, we will be going over Blender Subsurf. Alright, before we get started, uh, just a few things. Uh, like always, you go to uh, nistic.com or form.nistic.com. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, you want any uh, help with anything, uh, and I'll come back to that later and show you some of the stuff we have going on in the forums. Uh, also, don't forget to get to go to uh, chat.nistic.com uh, because we have a bunch of uh, Blender uh, users that are in our community that are always on there and always happy to help. So if you don't want to stop by the forum, at least uh, stop by the chat, and I'll be happy to talk with you and help you with anything you need. Alright, so let's get started. Um, if you open up Blender, go ahead and open it. Uh, we have our default cube in the center of the screen, and we're going to keep that for today. So let's go down here to the bottom uh, left, and we're going to go into top view. Now, also you notice, um, if you're just opening 2.5, this little menu is here. Uh, you can hide it by hitting T. So we have a little bit more room, and I expanded this uh, menu to our right uh, because we're going to be using this. So basically, Subsurf, all it is, is it smooths uh, your models. And so we're going to be using it uh, today. Um, I just switched views right here in Numpad 5 uh, just to make everything a little easier. So we're going to go to the top view, and we're going to add a bunch of objects here. And then we're going to see uh, how Subsurf affects each one of them uh, and how it smooths it out and how it looks. Alright, so I'm going to take this cube here. I'm going to move it, hit G, and move it over a little bit to the left. And make sure it's in the view of the camera. So view, camera. Make sure it's still in the view of the camera right there. So we're going to go back to view top. And we're going to add some other objects. So I'm going to select, left click right here. Hit Shift A, um, then we're gonna add, I guess, a UV sphere here. I'll go a little bit more over. Add a uh, let's Shift A. Uh, add a Ico sphere. G, move it over just a little bit. I'm hitting the X to move it more accurately on the X axis. Shift A. Uh, we can add what, a tube here. Do this over here. Shift A. Just go through and just add a bunch of objects. Shift A. Last one is monkey. So we have uh, six just basic objects, and we're going to see how Subsurf affects each one of them. So go back into view camera. Uh, you can see this is a little cut off. And so we're going to go to top view. We're going to select the camera with the right mouse button click, hit G, move it back a little bit. And then go back into camera and see if we have everything. Alright, G, while it's still selected, to move up a little bit so we can see everything. So we see all the uh, different objects right here. So I'm going to go to top view. I'm going to right click select our cube. Then we're going to go to the modifiers tab. Uh, it used to be down here in Blender 2.49 uh, and lower, uh, but now in Blender 2.5 it's over here to the right. All these tabs here. Uh, in default, you should be in the render tab, but we want to go over to modifier tab, which is this little wrench right there. Alright, so we click on that, and we want to add a modifier to the selected object. So make sure it's selected uh, with the right mouse click. So we hit add modifier, and we have all these options here, and we want to go to subdivision surface, or subsurf, uh, as we call it. And so, as you can see, um, it immediately changes uh, the uh, little cube that we have here and makes it more kind of round, uh, you could say, and adds a bunch more uh, faces here. And so we can adjust the settings uh, here and here. Uh, this is uh, first uh, option is the number of subdivisions you want to perform. Uh, that will be in this 3D window here. The second one is uh, the number of subdivisions you want uh, for when you're actually rendering it. So we can change these options. I can move this up to 3 and you can see how it 
uh, change and add more uh, faces to it. That's two. And so let's try this with some of the other ones. So let's go to this uh, UV sphere, add modifier, subdivision surface. See, it got a lot smoother. Add two, a lot smoother. Uh, three, that's really, really smooth. I'll bring that down back to uh, two. Go icosphere, and we just do the same thing um, for all of these. is smoother in each time that I increase it. And I'll do this for all of these so you can kind of see uh, what's going on here. This one it actually uh, messes up a little. It's not as smooth as you want. You can see the kind of uh, jaggedy edges here. So this is, isn't the perfect model to uh, subsurf. Go to the cone. Oh. I hit the wrong modifier. Surface. And it just gets a little bit smoother. And the best one here is the monkey. Major difference as you smooth it. Um, so, alright, so these two options again. Um, one's, this is for the model window, uh, and, or the 3D window, and this is for render. Um, you can set these as high as you want, you can keep on going, um, and it'll get smoother and smoother, but you do want to be careful. Uh, if this number goes too high, it can be kind of taxing, taxing on your processor, and Blender can get a little slow. And if it goes way too high, Blender can actually crash. So you definitely don't want to do that. So be careful uh, and save op often when uh, using Subsurf. Um, so it's generally a good idea just to put this at a decent number so it looks all right on uh, over here in your 3D window, and then. Uh, render, you can set it a lot higher, um, so it looks really, really good when you actually render this out. So let's uh, go ahead and hit F12, kind of render this out and see what happens. As you can see, all the different smooth uh, surfaces here. So if you look at, um, let's say for instance, this UV sphere right here, and hit Escape to get out of that, let's put this at uh, view 1, where we can't we can kind of discern um, the little faces here, but if you move this to two, you really can't. So let's set that at one uh, and set this all the way up to three when we render. Um, so this, uh, it's nice and fast, and we can see that that's kind of going to be smooth off. So when we hit render, it looks really, really smooth, and it's just fine in our 3D window, nice and fast, uh, when we G, uh, move it around. Uh, so that's just about this it for that uh, this tutorial. Um, it was just the basics of using subsurf uh, to kind of smooth your uh, models and meshes. And so I, I hope you um, learned some stuff here. All right, uh, before we go, I uh, just wanted uh, to say some things uh, about the form and uh, such. Um, go down here uh, to. Firefox here, and I'll just show you some stuff. Uh, we have lots of contests and other things on the form. Um, right now, we're having a, an official contest, uh, which topic is kind of like modern space. Uh, and we also have um, some tournaments uh, that you can actually participate if you want to do that. Uh, if you look in here, these are just the rules you follow and the deadline, which is uh, from this tutorial, uh, you have about a, a week or two more. So you could actually uh, join in and do it. Um, and these are, this is one of the entries that someone did, kind of a space shuttle um, in orbit or uh, achieving orbit. So uh, just some of the cool things. Also, um, some confusion um, that people are having. I'm kind of changing my name to Super 3. Now, in all the tutorials, I'll keep it Super 3 Boy. Um, but if you see me anywhere else, like on the chat or, or on the forums, uh, people are calling me by Super 3. I'm going by Super 3. Um, that's kind of the official name now. But you can still call me Super 3 Boy, uh, whatever you want. But um, just don't get confused when you see Super 3 and wonder, is, is that him or not? Um, so uh, just some housekeeping stuff. Alright, well that's it for this tutorial, and I hope you guys uh, learned a little uh, stuff in this tutorial, how to use Subsurf, or if you're going from 2.49 to 
two point five, you kind of figure out the differences uh, between um, that, and it's it's a little easier to do in two point five, um, but the uh, same concept. All right, well, this is Super Three Boy uh, signing out, or Super Three uh, signing out, and I hope you guys will uh, visit N Nistic, try out some of the tournaments, or uh, come by the chat and uh, talk to me and some of the users. All right, see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.